Hey you guys, this is Renee from BobeyDoBlog.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel. And I was really excited to, that we got sponsored by a company called Vibrance. It's a skincare company. And they have this stuff in the packaging. They sent it like well packaged. Awesome box just to, you know, show you to start off with. And they sent it in this really cool little bag. So, I mean, you feel really special when you're getting this product. But the thing that excited me is this is the Vibrant Super C Penetrating Serum. And I love it when I get a hold of skincare products that actually work, that are well-researched. One of my biggest pet peeves is, you know, false claims of skincare or where the marketing is just a bunch of hullabaloo and you don't really know what you're getting and they're th just throwing in, you know, buzzwords and crap ingredients just to make you spend all your hard-earned money on it. Well, when I see a brand like this, you know, where they're actually scientifically backed and they actually have the research to back up what's in their ingredients, it really makes me curious and I get really excited. So let's start off with the packaging. It came shrink wrapped, so you know it's sanitary. No one's ever opened it or touched it or anything like that. I've already removed the shrink wrap because obviously I've already tried it. So anyway, it's in this pump, so it's not a jar and the pump itself is opaque. So there's no exposure to light or air, which is good because any kind of anti antioxidant ingredients, you don't want to expose them to light or air because that degrades them and makes them unstable. So basically after the first or second time you use it, you have a jar of shit that might be a good moisturizer, but it's not going to work. It's not really going to do anything else for your skin. The active ingredients are just destroyed. So you might get slight plumping just from the moisture and it might feel good. But all those actives, they're, they're just rendered useless. So you're paying, you know, all this money for nothing. So I really like the packaging. It's in this pump. And like I said, no exposure to light or air. And so it's only exposed to the elements when you pump it out. So when you do pump it, it's easy to, to dispense. Uh, you can dispense a little or a lot. But let me tell you, the stuff, the serum, I have really oily skin and I love this stuff. I even put some on Jerry and he liked it. So, you know, it's really cool when he likes it. But as you can see, it's really lightweight. It's clear. Let's see if I, yeah, there you go. So, and just this little dab will cover like the backs of both my hands and my arms. And that same amount covered my face and my neck. So if I want to do my chest, then I have to use a little bit more. But that same, you know, little bit that I put on will do my whole face and neck. It smells very citrusy. It's natural. It's not fake smelling. It smells like you just cut an orange, but only it's not that strong. So if you're sensitive to fragrance, it's not overwhelming. It's very natural and it dissipates very, very quickly. But I, I like it. It smells very fresh. It doesn't have a stinky scent. And to me, I actually like fragrance in skincare, especially if it's not bothersome or fake. And it goes on easily. I don't have any problems with itchiness. As far as being moisturizing, like I said, I'm oily and it's the middle of summer in Louisiana. So having oily skin and being this tropical climate, this is enough for me. Like in the morning when I do my makeup, I don't have to put on a separate moisturizer. I can just use this and then go straight to my primer and it's perfect. So if you have really dry skin, you may need to put on a separate moisturizer after this, but I don't need to. And I like that I can use it anywhere. I have very sensitive skin. It's hypersensitive from using Retin-A. But I've had no irritation from this whatsoever. And it absorbs readily. It doesn't interfere with any makeup that I might put on. It doesn't clump or cause my primer to ball up or anything like that. And it's just really, really fantastic. And honestly, even though I haven't been using it long enough to see any long-term results, it really does give your skin kind of a glow. And I think that's just because it's really moisturizing, but it's not heavy, so it doesn't cause any buildup or anything. But it does somewhat energize my skin, just, you know, from the short time I've been using it. And now for the science behind the Vibrant Super C Serum. So, as I said before, packaging is really, really important when it comes to skincare products, especially ones that use antioxidants as a key ingredient. Well, with vitamin C, it goes a step beyond that. There are so many forms of vitamin C out there, and some skincare products contain unstable forms of vitamin C. One of the most common forms of vitamin C is the actual just vitamin C molecule itself, which is L-ascorbic acid. The molecule looks like this. 
So L ascorbic acid is the common vitamin C molecule. This is what does magic for your skin. It does absolute wonders and it helps, you know, create collagen, helps, you know, stimulate collagen production and keeps your wrinkles at bay, keeps your skin looking bright, helps with hyperpigmentation. There's so many benefits of the vit of vitamin C in skincare. The problem with the L ascorbic acid molecule is that it's unstable. So once you put it into a product and it like basically even you open the product, it becomes unstable and is rendered useless before it even has a chance to penetrate your skin. So that really sucks. I mean, because there's no point in using it, right? So I don't know why so many companies use L ascorbic acid. You see like some companies using vitamin C ester and you just have to look, read the labels and do your research before you spend your hard earned money. But the really cool thing about Vibrance is one thing that I do whenever I'm buying skincare products and spending a lot of money is I will research the ingredients. I will scour that ingredient list and I will Google them. I will look up scientific research, you know, like peer reviewed journals just to find out if that ingredient is worth my money. But right now I'm a blogger and so I'm not rich. I'm not, you know, I really need to be careful where I spend my money. So anyway, I was really excited because Vibrance is one of those companies that is really open and transparent about their research and about their ingredients. So they sent me a whole, you know, list of, you know, the ingredients and how they work. And the cool thing is, is that, you, well, usually when somebody sends me this, I don't take their word for it. I go research this stuff myself because I want to make sure that they're being legit. I mean, this could be a whole bunch of hullabaloo for all I know. I mean, just because I'm wearing glasses... Does that make me look smarter? Are you going to tell me, are you going to believe what I say? If I tell you to smear fish guts all over your face, since I look somewhat smarter, are you going to believe me? Well, most people wouldn't. You know, if you're going to go rub fish guts all over your face, you're going to research it to find out if that's really going to do what it's supposed to do. So the cool thing is, is they sent, they cited their sources. So all I had to do is like pull up each source just to verify it, you know, that it was legit. I didn't have to actually go seeking this stuff out myself. So I really, really appreciated that, that they're that transparent. And the neat thing about the form of vitamin C in the Vibrant Super C Serum is it's actually a stable form, which is ethyl ascorbic acid. This, the trademark name is Corum 9515, I believe. And that's a trademarked uh, type of vitamin C, you can see the difference. Right here, the L ascorbic acid that's unstable has two oxygen molecules. You can see them one, one, two. So there's two oxygen molecules in this one. In the stable form, which is ethyl ascorbic acid, the quorum 9515, there's one, two, three oxygen molecules. So there is a difference in these. And the, the thing that's going to make a difference on your skin is since this is more stable, it doesn't degrade it actually penetrates your skin where it's turned into the l ascorbic acid where it can go doing wonders for helping your collagen production another ingredient is let's see what else do they have in here there's some good stuff in here so i'm really excited about the stable form of vitamin c because that's hard to find in skincare um the Hexyl resorcin which is like a type of resorcinol like Hexyl resorcinol if you've heard of resorcinol if you've ever gone to like a dermatologist or an esthetician and you've got like a Jessner's peel, one of the ingredients is resorcinol. So I like to see this in here. And then this Synovia HR, it's an agent that acts as an antioxidant to neutralize free radicals and prevent future skin damage. So they also talk about the clinical trials that they've done in here and how the results were statistically significant in improving tactical Tactile roughness, radiance, and mottled pigmentation, as well as crow's feet, fine lines, and overall photo damage in 12 weeks. So that right there is a huge thing. When you're looking at skincare products and they say, okay, well, five out of six clients, you know, said their skin looked better. Which five out of which six? These people are handpicking those people, and you can't rely on consumer opinion alone. You really, really need the actual scientific research, and the fact that it's statistically significant, that's a huge thing right there, because some results are just anecdotal, and you can't go by those. It might just be a fluke. So when the results are statistically significant, that's impressive right there. Um, another active ingredient in the uh, Vibrant Super C Serum is N-acetylglucosamine, which is an amino acid sugar. And it's a derivative of glucose, sugar. 
and it plays a significant role in the human, meta human metabolic system. It also provides moisturizing benefits and improves skin hydration and elasticity, and it also stimulates the production of hyaluronic acid, which is basically, you know, what causes the moisture in your face, blah, 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 blah. It's the active ingredient in Juvederm. So, you know, excellent ingredient. It also has been shown to reduce the appearance of lines and wrinkles, particularly around the eye area. So that's absolutely fantastic to see that. Um, another thing that is impressive to me, well, I mean, this is, the whole thing is just an impressive serum. I really, really like it, um, is the Ultra Filling, ultra filling Spheres. And it's dehydrated microspheres of marine collagen, and they have the capacity to rehydrate in the presence of water and regain their initial volume. So this is really cool. I mean, the whole concept reminds me of, you know, like those little animals that are in capsules or something that you get when you're a kid, and you stick them in water, and they puff up, and they're like little sponge animals. You know, really, really cool. So if you think about that, you know, it's easier for the small thing, you know, once it's dehydrated, to penetrate into your skin, then it hits the moisture of your skin, and it plumps it up. Cool, huh? So it says the result is long lasting moisturization. So I like that. I like that they're not making any claims that it's, you know, like Botox in a bottle. That really pisses me off when people do that. And because, you know, the hyaluronic acid lets, you know, it, it really is. It's most hyaluronic acid molecules are too big to penetrate the skin. So it has to be certain forms to get it to penetrate the skin. So when they have something that is made like this, that's dehydrated, so it can penetrate and then rehydrate itself, but they're not giving any false claims. They're not saying it's magical. They're just saying long lasting moisturization. So I really appreciate that. They're being upfront and not, you know, making any wild, you know, far fetched claims. Um, uh, another active ingredient are certain liposomes as a carrier system. So that's really good. Um, lipo, you know, meaning fat or whatever. So it'll penetrate the oil in your skin so it can penetrate deeper and actually get into your skin. Because some, some ingredients, you know, are water soluble, some are oil soluble. If you're, they're not oil soluble, it's harder to penetrate into your skin. So it just, it's all around a really, really great product. And all the ingredients really work together. Um, when you look at the actual ingredient list, it does have, you know, uh, citrus, medica, limonum, which is like lemon fruit water. So that might be irritating to some people, especially when it's the first ingredient. So that's one of the negatives. But like I said, I have super sensitive skin. So there are ingredients in here that are soothing. So I'm presuming those counteract it because I've had zero problems. Um, there are some silicones which is great. Those are actually, some people, you know, say silicones are bad, but they're actually really not. They don't suffocate your skin, contrary to popular belief. They're actually good for your skin. Your skin can, is breathable with silicone. That's what most primers are made out of. Um, if you look at scar gels that they use in doctor's offices or on wounds, they're made of silicone because it helps heal the skin. It makes your skin look better. It improves the appearance. So, you know, doctors wouldn't use it if it didn't work. It works. So I really like that as an ingredient. It also makes the serum go on better and glide on easier and spread more easily. And it also makes my skin feel just smooth. Absolutely fabulous. Um, there's, let's see, tocopherol acetate, which is vitamin E. So that's another really good moisturizing product and antioxidant. So all in all, this is a fantastic product. Um, they do have some of the test results from like Quorum 9515, which like I said, it's the trade name of the ethyl ascorbic acid vitamin C molecule. And it says collagen synthesis 79.9% in vitro versus 32.6%. I would like to see ex vivo studies as opposed to the in vitro, because if you're not familiar with scientific research, in vitro means it's in a Petri dish. So something in a Petri dish doesn't really tell me how it's going to act on the skin. So I do appreciate that they have done clinical research on actual people in addition to the in vitro studies. Um, solubility of in absorption, it's in water and oil versus just in water. So that's where the whole, you know, transport and carrier system comes in handy that it can actually penetrate into your, it's oil soluble, so it can penetrate. Hyperpigmentation, it reduces, reduces current and prevents future dark spots versus just solely preventing future hyperpigmentation. So if you have any discoloration right now already, it's going to help with that too. It's going to help re reduce that. It's lightweight, non-greasy. I 100% agree with that. Um... Clinically proven to reduce lines and wrinkles, minimize and prevent hyperpigmentation, fight and re reverse photoaging, protects, protects against DNA damage, 
smooths complexion and skin te texture, hydrates and firms, neutralizes free radicals and reduces oxidative cell damage, minimizes irritation, suitable for all skin types, including sensitive skin. Yes, I can, I can attest to that. Um, stimulates elastin collagen in the production of hyaluronic acid, repairs acne marks caused by hormonal acne. So I really, really appreciate all this information. And to me, you know, it just says huge. It speaks volumes for a company who's willing to be this transparent about their ingredients and tell you why they use them and how they actually work. And not to mention that they were actually willing to provide me all the citations for their research and studies. So that is a huge thing. They also will provide a full ingredient list. So you know exactly what you're putting on your skin. And when I was kind of poking around on the Vibrance website, I did see that the white, just look for the white sheet, the scientific white sheet, so you can find all this information for yourself. So definitely give this a try. When I looked at it, it's $67, and this is one ounce. You can also get it for less than that if you buy two or three at a time. So I can tell you that at $67 an ounce, this is a really, you know, that's a decent price. It's a mid-range skincare product price and for it's very concentrated like I said I used that little drop and put it all over the backs of my hands and arms so a little bit's going to go a long way it's not going to degrade fast so even if you don't use it up right away it's in a very stable packaging and the vitamin C itself is very stable so I definitely definitely recommend this and I wouldn't lie to you um yes this is a sponsored review but like I said all the results are here you can look it up for yourself so if it was crap, I would tell you it's crap and I just wouldn't, you know, deal with the sponsorship. I'd be like, you know, I'm not going to lie, but this it's 100% and you can see the difference yourself just by looking at the molecules. They are different. So that will make a huge difference in penetration and you know how well it works. So definitely give it a try. I'll leave a link to the Vibrance website so you can look at more information for yourself. But like I said, it's a really fantastic product, great price, and this is probably something that I'll just keep using if Jerry doesn't use it all up before me. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in our next video.